And now, for your delectation, Books Unplugged would like to present How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Here now, Books Unplugged. Hi there, welcome to Books Unplugged. I'm Satan. I'm Santa Claus. Books Unplugged is the internet YouTube show where we take a book that's been made into a movie, in this case a Christmas book that's been made into a Christmas movie, and we discuss it. Santa, Santa and I get together every year, half for, half for thousands of years, right around the, right around the holidays, yep. to, uh, to take a look at the naughty and nice list. Yes, we, we got to get through it each year. Yeah, so it backs up. Just kind of, just kind of checking each other's numbers. You know, if Santa's got someone on the on the nice list and they're not super corruptible or evil, then you know, why am I trying to, why am I trying to 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 turn them worse and uh-huh. vice versa? If, yeah, if, if you, I got a kid, I've given him given him coal three years in a row. I'm gonna let you know about it. We always, after we're done with the work part, we kind of hang out and we've been watching a lot of books unplugged with Ed and Dan. They um, make it both. look pretty easy. Yeah, both naughty. Uh, they make it. They make <laughs> Very it look, naughty. Yes. They make it look pretty easy because yes. it is pretty easy. Right. We just finished doing a Christmas Story, which uh-huh. was better than any episode they've ever done. Oh, by far. Yes. Um. So now we're going to discuss uh, this week. We're going to discuss the Grinch. How the Grinch. How the stole Grinch stole Christmas, Christmas, which is a Dr. Seuss story. Dr. Yep. Seuss story. Uh-huh. Um. So uh, essentially. There's a the the way that plays out is there's a bunch of who's which are small humanoid things um, that are obsessed with Christmas they they like it very much and uh, there's a, a, a gentleman green gentleman called the Grinch that lives on a hill that hates Christmas and steals it steals it from he wants to steal the, the Christmas so uh, he takes all their stuff on Christmas uh, Day. So that's essentially the story. Um, so it's been made into two movies, and it was a Dr. Seuss book. Uh-huh. Um, two movies, well, maybe more than two movies. There, yeah, there, there was another one, but we're, we're, we're just going to look at the most recent. The Probably going to refer to them as the Cumberbatch and the Jim Carrey. Books unplugged. Adaptation for your delectation now. So well, let's get into it. What's you? What's your? Uh, what's your love, Nick? What do you? What do you? Uh, what do you? What's your major love? About uh, my major love. Uh, I want to start off with my major love with the Jim Carrey movie. Is all the Christmas joy and magic that is in this movie? Oh, it made me so happy and jolly. Uh, me and Mrs. Claus, we we're just sitting there and just. You know, they're just all, the Who's are singing and they're buying gifts and they're trying to get more gifts and stuff. Oh, you know, the jubilation, it was fantastic. Yeah, mine's similar. My major love is similar. I, I really loved the, uh, the, the obsession and the rampant commercialism in, in the film. I really, I was really taken, you know, in the beginning by just the, the stacks of gifts where the, the man almost forgot his daughter existed. Oh, you know, in the Jim a Carrey great movie. mound of gifts. I love that. You can tell those kids are going to be so happy getting all those gifts. Of course, of course, they're really yes. good. Good, tra- good training to make them to make them just obsessive consumers. I think. How that, about I think the, that's great. Uh, I'm going to get the a book. Book. What did you love about the book? Did you have one? Yeah. Yo, of course. Me. I mean, me. I love. Here's the thing. Like, I love a good rhyme. I'm a big fan of rhyme. A lot of great poems. I mean, I prefer. Oh like a good horny poem, you know, or like violent poem, but with all the made up words, like you can use your imagination and it can be as horny as you want it to be. So for me, I really, really enjoyed uh, the rhyme scheme and the, and the, and the fun thing. And, you know, I, I, I just found it, I just found it pretty wonderful, pretty wonderful in every way. Did you have uh, any how about, major? How about, well, major how about reasons? you? Do what's your? No, you would this hear your major loves about the book. What's your oh, major book. love? Oh, oh, I loved uh, the pictures, all the pictures of the little who's opening up their gifts and and uh, you know sitting at the big table and eating their their Christmas dinner and the singing. All those pictures, they were just great. I just love those pictures. So uh, yeah, major hate. What do you hate? 
Can you even find anything to hate about this story? Well, well, no, uh, uh, Luke. They, I, there was some things that I did, I did hate. Um, I did not like in the Jim Carrey movie how they made all those who's wanting to get Christmas presents and, and get, buying presents for everyone a bad thing. I don't. It was, you know, it's Christmas time, people. That's what you do. Yeah. Let's do the speed round. Are we doing speed round? Oh, yes. Minor loves and hates. Minor loves and hates. 60 seconds on the clock. Uh, Can we a do hot this? flaming clock. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Let's do, some, let's, do some, let's do some devilish. Let's do a devilish clock. Oh, Santa could be very devilish. Just ask Mrs. Yeah. Claus. <laughs> Trust me, I will. I love uh, Max in the in the book and movies. Oh, I gotta look into getting one of me a little Max dog for my sleigh. Uh, I love how Ron Howard pretty much just ripped off Tim Burton's style and rolled with it. <laughs> I love that. They it, they were a little bit creepy, but uh, after a while, I got used to that weird snout nosy thing. Okay, okay. I, I love the Baby Grinch drawings, the drawings that the Baby Grinch makes, the evil Christmas drawings. <gasps> Everything else about the Baby Grinch I hate. Oh, that's so funny. I also hated Baby Grinch, too. Oh, good. It was just, hey, just really creepy, but I think what I hate more than Baby Grinch was how those Whoville people treated Baby Grinch. You know, maybe he wouldn't have grown up to be so mad I love and everything that. if they just, you know, could have Give them some jolly cheer. You know, pe treating people like that in the holiday season is how you make a good sociopath. Yeah, let's get it together. Mm -hmm. I love uh, the the voicemail, the Grinch, the, the Carrie Grinch voicemail message. And I have it quoted here because I liked it so much and I think I might steal it. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it as if I'm doing it. Okay. You utter so much as one syllable. I'll hunt you down and gut you like a fish. I might steal that. I... Good. I love that chair of cheer during the jubilation when they put the, the Grinch on the, in, in the Jim Carrey movie and they're all pushing him around and stuff like that. I got to get me one of those chairs. So uh, I think uh, I hate Cumberbatch's books to Boing, book and to Boing and books to Boing. We got to do some was it in the book? Is this all right. going to quiz each other? Oh, 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 yes. See where we're at? You, 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 you start, man. All right. Grinch visiting the town before stealing everything. Both movies this happens. Was that in the no. book? No. No, that's not. That was book. not. That was not. That's not there. How about, uh, how about trying to find a real reindeer? No. No. But it is difficult in finding good reindeer help. What do you got? The mayor of Whoville. I loved him in the Jim Carrey movie. He just was full of Christmas joy and just wanted the townspeople to have a great Christmas. No. No, he was not. He great was not. addition to the movie. The, was there a love interest in the book? No, no, no love interest. Uh, taking everything in the fridge. Was that in the yeah, book? Absolutely in the book. Yeah. Yeah, that Grinch, he, he just took everything. Everything, everything. So let's talk about the best bit. Bookity, bookity, books unplugged. What is the best bit of the movie? Uh, of, either of the movies. Uh, my one. best bit, because uh, I, I, uh, I'll say in the Grinch, uh, Jim Carrey movie, The Jubilation, when he comes down, and they all prop him up on that chair, and he's having a good time, and everyone's happy. Best bit in the movie. Um, I think the best bit in the movie is is Jim Carrey stealing sugar plums from kids' dreams. It's a great <laughs> idea. I never considered that, but that's Ooh, you're going to that take that idea. one, huh? Yeah, I might do that. And and then the, also the uh, in all three. Um, the theft, just in general, is just a beautiful display of bitterness and hatred. And, uh, you know, I mean, obviously it's too bad that he, that he pushes out, but um, 
but you know, the theft was really like just to, like just to the, consider the frenzy that you have to work yourself into to do that much stealing on such a large scale so quickly. It's impressive to me. I did not. Uh, I did not think of that, think of that there. But that uh, does not surprise me that you did not. Um, so how about the how about the book? Um, in the book. Uh, oh, when uh, the Grinch was uh, on top of his rock mountain thing, looking down and imagining all the Who's opening up their gifts and having a good time and, you know, eating and stuff like that. I thought that was great. Okay. You, you like that, huh? Yeah. yeah. Mine, was, mine, was just, mine was just the rhymes. Um, I, I thought yeah. the rhymes were cool in the book. I liked, like I told you earlier, like I really thought. I'm going to try to rhyme more in my daily life, too. Books unplugged. Which would you destroy? Well, let's move on to your favorite part. Yeah. Which will we destroy? Oh, uh, which will we destroy? Yes. Okay, so I couldn't really choose. So instead... I want to destroy the Who's. <laughs> insipid, vacuous wretches that they are. I want all of them destroyed. I just want, I, I want, I, I want to go to, I want Horton to inhale them and suck him and have them all drown in his mucus. I hate the Who's so much. Well, I will agree. I did hate the Who's and they animated. Uh, Cumberbunch movie, and uh, I love the Who's in the Jim Carrey movie, and I am going to destroy Dr. Seuss's book. I, I it was a, it's a great book. It's got some good pictures of Christmas joy, but that Jim Carrey movie, it just explodes with Christmas love. That, the uh, only I just, the only time I in these episodes that I've liked you is when you're destroying things. Do you know that? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hey, I tell you what, uh, I tell you what, Nick. Let's let's do this again next year. I, yeah, the, you know this we is, could do another. I, I liked it. It was a good way to spend our time. I didn't hate watching the movies as much as I uh, thought I would. I didn't hate reading the books as much as I thought I would. Yes. Um, this is very easy. Um, oh. We're obviously very skilled at it. And I, th yes. I, I think we should do it again next year. So I will see you, uh, you know, what early we do in early December next year. Yeah. Yeah. Right, well, thank, thank Mrs. Claus uh, for the gingerbread cookies. I really appreciate that she made them anatomically correct for me. Here now,